Good evening, or Iberto, um, warriors of Yahuwah and the truth, beloved brothers and sisters, daughters and sons of Yahuwah. Um, I am going to be continuing on tonight with I am Yahuwah, that is my name. And um, if you guys are interested in hearing a new song that came to me through the Ruach this evening, um, it is on the other, the last video I posted, um, Illuminati Control, Eden to Armageddon. Um, it's, a, it's a very close to my heart song, so I hope you guys will listen. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy the song. <clears throat> okay. So now we are on yoga mats, our hint... Our Hindu prayer mats? Who knew? Okay. Hindu prayer on mats. Sacred personal space. In crescent poses or yoga. Yoga poses. Swept into the Middle East around 200 BCE. These and other patterns reflect occult behavior. Probably mostly unknown even to most of the members of their religious groups or societies. The top level of masonry is an honorary title, Shriner. The Shiva Shrine design is used all over the earth. You've seen them all your life, but have not realized it. The word G-O-D is our next section. The BYNV translation intentionally avoided the reference G-O-D for the following reason. G-O-D is a pagan deity's name adopted by translators through tradition. It isn't of the truth. It's all a lie. The Encyclopedia Americana 1945 edition states under the topic G-O-D, G.O.D., common Teutonic word for personal object of religious worship, formerly applicable to superhuman being of heathen myth, on conversion of Teutonic races to Christianity, term was applied to supreme being. That doesn't sound like our Yahuwah, does it? I don't think so. The personal name of our Creator, as revealed at least 6,823 times in the Tanakh, is spelled yod he u he Those seeking the original Hebrew roots of the faith appreciate the literal sounds of the letters as they appear comparatively in other Hebrew words. The closest word using the identical letters in the same order as the name is Yehuda. Yehuda was the fourth son of Leah. It came to be Latinized to um, I hope I don't butcher this. Laudia, L O U D I A. It became Judah, and then it Jew, J E W. The letters Yehuda, Yod He U Dalet He. Imagine the sound of this word without the sound of the letter D. Yod He U He. Yahuwah, hidden within the word Yehuda. Yod He U He are the four Hebrew vowels seen on the headpiece of the high priest Yahuwah. You got incoming, babe. Bella incoming. <laughs> or no, is she on the couch? Yes, she is. Okay. Sorry for the little interruption. Clement of Alexandria translettered the name from Hebrew into Greek using the following I A O U E. Okay, the next section that we are going into is the letter W. There's no letter W in Hebrew, Greek, or Latin. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Gutenberg's invention of the movable type printing press around 1439 required individual letters to be placed by hand and printed one page at a time. The typesetters combined two V's together. 
to make a double U or a Vav, a double V. The letter W was created by the typesetters since words like witch or wick previously were spelled vich and vic, but it was two V's next to each other to make the word witch and wick. The letter shaped V in Latin sounded like our letter U, as in the word for sword, gladive, gladives, or gladius. So we w the way they pronounced it was gladius, not gladives. The, so the V sounded like a U. The sound of our contemporary letter V came many centuries later. Okay, so here is another chart. Latin letter on this side. Well, when I show it to you guys, it'll be on this side. Um, then the val value, then the name of the letter, then the ancient, and then the modern. The modern was the, with the, I believe it's the added Nikud markings. So, Latin letter, I will read it to you, then I'll show it to you. Latin letter Y, value 10. Name of the letter, Yod. Ancient, I cannot, that's still Yod. And then the little little tittle they did there, the Nakud marking, is the modern. Okay, the H is a value of 5. Hey, and that's the name of the letter. And the ancient would still be pronounced the same way. The Latin letter U, value is 6. U-A-U, -U, which is U or O. And in the ancient, it would still be U. But it looks kind of like a y, letter Y. Uh, Latin letter H, value 5, meaning hey. Okay, so here is the table. The next section is what is called, sorry, no, what is called modern Hebrew is Aramaic, not Hebrew. The next section is Hyksos hoax, but um, this one is a bit longer, so this one I'm going to do in another video. Um, so that video is probably going to be all by itself. And um, I'll have some other pictures to show you guys of um, the Los Lunas New Mexico stone, the Moabite stone. These are all places where you can find Yahuwah's name. Um, Cyrus Cylinder, discovered in 1879. Nine-inch Edict of Koresh, King of Persia, ordering the rebuilding of the temple. And then the name, the, sto the stone, the builders rejected. And it shows a big stone with Yahuwah in, in Hebrew on it. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson tonight. Um, and I hope you guys will listen to the new song that I wrote tonight. Um, that is a very interesting video. And you will learn more about the Illuminati and a lot of the old... Um, uh, the old secret societies, some that I haven't even ever heard of, um, like the Hospitallers and um, Malta, and there's a few others. Knights Templars in there as well. Okay, now this is one of my favorite praise songs to Yahuwah, and I'm just going to sing it a cappella tonight because they're having bingo and I don't want to be a disruption. I know it is, babe. <laughs> yes, they disrupt us all night long, but if I'm banging on a tambourine, they're not going to be too happy, I don't think, and they'll probably come up and knock on the door. So They were the same way with our children, so it was horrible. <sighs> all right, so count it all joy. 
Count it all joy, count it all joy, count it all joy, count it all joy. Through the persecution, Yahusha went through it too. Count it all joy, count it all joy. Through the trials and tribulations, through the suffering and the pain, count it all joy, count it all joy. No matter what you're going through, when you don't know what to do, just look to Yahusha and count it all joy. When Hashatan throws a wrench into your life, drop down to your knees and pray to Abba Yahuwah, and he will work it all out for you, so you can count it all joy, count it all joy. Yahuwah works everything out for our good, your heart and your mind must be working in unison. Stay faithful to Yah, and He'll stay faithful to you, so you can count it all joy. Don't get caught up in the worries or cares of this world. Stay on the narrow path, not the broad road to destruction. Yahuwah always has your back in your righteous ways. So you can count it all joy, count it all joy. I love you all with an everlasting love, as our Abba Yahuwah and the Shamayim loves each and every one of us. Shalom and blessings, warriors of Yahuwah and the truth. Please like, subscribe, share, donate to my to our ministry. Um, if you like subscribe and share and donate that helps to get the word out to more people and i want to wake up as many people as possible to the true name of our creator and i want as many people to be saved as possible as our abba yahuwah wants as well i love you all with an everlasting love shalom and blessings Ibertob, beloved sons and daughters of yahuwah